the necessary permissions to the currently logged in user so that we do not even have to run it as an administrator we can directly double click on the file and it's going to start installing so that will be the permanent solution for this problem if i double click on it it still shows the same error so to solve this problem permanently we have to go through the solution 3 now for that just press window plus r and then type net p l w i z and hit enter now you can see the user name of the users which are present on your computer now if you click on properties you can see the full name also the username the full name now we need to know this full name because this is what we are going to use to give the administrator access or the full access to the folder that we are going to see now so we need to remember this name in your case if you are having many users then you just have to make sure which user is logged in right now or which is the user that you use so you can give the full access to that particular user only so now what you have to do is to open any file explorer and then click on these three dots and then from here just click on options All right now click on the view tab and then coming under hidden files and folders just click on show hidden files folders and drives all right then click on apply and then ok now open your c drive and then click on users and now you have to open that user which is logged in right now so i'll just click on that all right then click on app data all right then click on local then scroll down and then you will find this folder that says temp now this is the folder which is creating all the problems we have to give the full access to our user to this folder if our user or the user which is currently logged in has the full access to this temp folder then we will not get that msi problem that we are facing so just right click on this folder and click on properties then click on security tab all right and then click on edit then you have to click on add all right now we have to find our user so just click on advanced all right now if you click on find now then it is going to show all the users group so it will be too messy if you are able to find your user from here it's very good if you are not able to find your user from here then you can click on this object types all right then untick everything except users then click on find now now the list which will be returned will correspond to the users only now from this list you can easily point out which is your currently logged in user and this is the one which i am using so i'll just click on it and then click on ok then again click on ok now click on the user that we have selected just now and then we have to give the full control all right then just click on apply then it will give this kind of error message error applying security here we just have to click on continue all right keep clicking on continue all right now once all of them are vanished you can close all the windows and then open the folder in which you have your msi file all right now this time you can directly double click on the file and the installation is going to begin without any problem now you don't even have to run it as an administrator or open command prompt as administrator and then run this file from there you don't have to do any of that you can directly double click on the file and you are good to go i hope i was able to explain the problem and the solutions to you in a good and a proper way and you are able to understand it if you are still confused about the steps i'm going to create one pdf file where i'm going to write in detail the cause the symptoms and the solution of this problem so you can download that pdf you can read it 
and uh, if i was able to help you then don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care and thanks for watching